Burlington resident Emily Brown won her first trap shooting medal at 16. She's now 60 and still winning titles. She says people like her, not criminals or victims of gun crime, are the ones most affected by the strong gun legislation proposed today. She says the laws ensuring safe storage and red flag laws already exist. We have to store our firearms with three locks between the outside and the gun trigger locks in a vault. We have to store ammunition separately. On my renewal, uh, I have to, you know, provide contact information for any and all conjugal partners for the last five years. The Prime Minister also announced a buyback program for more than 1,500 guns banned last year. But let's not forget what this is about, saving lives. We're not targeting law-abiding citizens who own guns to go hunting or for sport shooting. Brown says that's not true. Automatic weapons were banned decades ago, the ones newly banned in Canada. They are literally used for um, sporting and for hunting, or they were before the um, ban, because they are light, because they are effective, because they are modular and they can uh, be used and um, they can be modified for a younger shooter or a woman shooter. Criminals are unaffected by this and bad choices are unaffected by any of this. This is all about just taking away people's property, their right to enjoy their property. Cities will also have the ability to ban firearms. Hamilton's mayor, Fred Eisenberger, says it's a positive step, although he would have preferred a universal ban on firearms in cities across the country. I think the, the less guns are available in our community, the more that police are able to uh, manage and control that, uh, the better off we're going to be. He doesn't think Hamilton's many gun clubs will have to be shuttered. Gun clubs are very capable of storing guns on site. Uh, so, you know, there's no reason for anyone to have to transport guns. The National Firearms Association estimates it will cost two and a half billion dollars to buy back the newly banned guns, although no one knows how many there are or how many will be returned for about thirteen hundred dollars. Gun advocates say the money would be better spent on the root causes of crime like poverty, inequality and alienation. Lisa Hefner, CHCH News.